Hi there, this is Mo with the Double R, and you're welcome to Ladies Lounge, sponsored by First Bank, the bank that puts you first all the time. The first money agents, be. Here's your opportunity to become a first money agent. No matter where you play, to me, go then day. I'm about to love and then day. The first money agents, then be. Everywhere for Naja, then day. I'm people to a deep go then day. To register as a First Money agent, visit the First Bank branch closest to you. First Money, close and simple. You first. First Bank. And welcome back. So today's episode of Ladies Lounge. Um, I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay. So it's a bit of um. Do I start this way? Now, if I sing this song, you guys will probably be able to figure out my <laughs> my age bracket. But it's all right. Don't worry. So who knows this song? Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Do I sing well? Don't worry. I'm not singing it. Right, guys, so I've got my friends in house today, and we're going to be sharing our heartbreak stories. Uh, you know what they say, being served breakfast. <laughs> I don't even understand the correlation between being served breakfast and okay, so maybe the break. Okay, good. Right, so we're going to be sharing their heartbreak stories, but the idea really is that you learn a thing or two from it, right? Because every experience in our lives really is an opportunity to learn you know it's a lesson okay so i've got my interesting friends here and a special guest i'm really excited about this one guys wait for it wait for it okay so with me in the studio triple a hello you're welcome and fabulous julia hello yeah 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 ah so who can guess who my special guest is Okay, guys, let me help you. And it's not a lady, yeah? <laughs> you didn't see that coming. Yes, it's a twist. I mean, why talk about heartbreaks and not have a guy in the house, you know? Okay, so give it up for SOJ. Hello. Hi, SOJ. Hi. Thanks for joining us Thanks today. Thanks for having me. I feel like woman rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. You're man enough. I mean, I'm the only guy here. <laughs> <laughs> You're man enough, SOJ, and thanks for coming on the show today. Thanks for having me. Great. Okay, guys, so you know the drill. I'm going to be going around the room, and I know that this um, may be a bit emotional, yeah? <laughs> but just um, as much as possible, we would like to learn from these experiences. It can be, what's the word now? Going down memory lane, a little bit touchy. But I'm sure by now we can laugh about these things, right? <laughs> we can laugh about them. So let me start with, hmm, Triple A, let me come to you first. So what's your You're memorable? My Is it okay? To, I mean, so I, I like the contrast. Your most memorable heartbreak experience. <laughs> oh my God. Well, okay, great. So heartbreak is actually meant to be memorable. She, she, you know, in that sense. In that sense. So whether you were the one that broke the heart or they broke your heart. Me, I'm not the okay. heartbreak. Oh yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you have the floor. Okay, more. thank you very much. So you said You're something welcome. about being served breakfast. Mm. The Uwala Manche breakfast. Okay, now. Have you eaten breakfast before? Have you been served breakfast? Or have you even served breakfast before? So let me be truthful. I've not served breakfast before. Ah. I'm, I'm a gentle girl like that. Okay. So I don't serve people breakfast. But ah, I don't chop them before. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe not so many experiences. You call it the most memorable. So I would say the reason why this experience is memorable for me is because mm, I was served. And not just by anybody or by someone I would call. I don't know. Where did you get this idea of first love? Like, hey, boy, there's something so as such as that. So there is you, first people, love. you people know about Well, it. we do. There is a first love. <laughs> <laughs> there is something. Yeah, there is a first love. So permit me to say this guy was my oh first love. Oh, my God. So I don't want to say. Okay, I will say. Let me say. I will say. I got to know him in my primary school. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 no, 
no, no, no, wait now. Nah. Are you okay, girls? <laughs> Okay, so we actually met in my primary school. I think he joined our school, I think when we were in primary five or something. So, but somehow we got really close. Okay, so I would say something about myself. I really have a knack for getting close to people that people don't really like to associate with. So I don't know what happened in my primary school days that people did not like to associate with um, people that used left hand left-handed people oh really people didn't just like to associate with them and this my friend i think he wasn't popular in my school i don't know but this my friend i would call his name k okay just k capital letter don't say don't not thin k more yes k yes constant k yeah Chop knock, chop knock. <laughs> so, <laughs> so okay. I would call him that. He was left-handed, and people didn't really like to associate with him. So wow. that was how we became friends. Okay. So I didn't realize how close we were until I got sick at one point. I think we were now in primary six, and the teachers told me they sent my boyfriend <laughs> to greet me. I said, "Boy, was <laughs> what is boyfriend?" He came to my house actually, and my mom was like, ah, which one is this? Okay, Nico, okay, Nico. I said, ah, mommy now. My school made, you know. Okay. So that's how we became friends, right. and we were friends till all through secondary school. Of course, I went to a girls' only okay. school, but we maintained contact after I left secondary school and in the university. So that was actually when we connected, and you know, ah, ah. The eyes that have known somebody before, before now. Before, cannot so, say, cannot, cannot recognize. I cannot say, cannot recognize <laughs> You get it. <laughs> so we kicked it off very smoothly, and wow. it was going good. All of a sudden, and this is why it is memorable for me. All of a sudden, he visited me one day. At child four hundred level or three hundred level, I can't remember. Okay. Then he came this day. Okay, at that time, he was using this very techy, fine Sony Ericsson phone. And I was proud thing. Oh, you know, yeah. my picture was a screensaver. So oh, each time he came to visit me, you know, I was enjoying. How many people oh, were man. engaged in university? Sorry, now? Me. You know the kind of things that used to thrill us? <laughs> screensaver. Man, I was, uh, I was thrilled. Uh, me, babe. Oh, wow. Like, I'm the love of his life. Oh, yeah? Know? Only for but that to come oh. in one day. I just picked this right. phone. Uh, uh. I saw his sister on the screensaver. Uh, I was like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, now what happened? <laughs> what did change? How, How did, did we go from here today? <laughs> we had no quarrel. There wow. was no disagreement. There was no, absolutely nothing. Smooth absolutely nothing. And in my head, I can't tell you the things he was using to blow Has my head there, no. Okay. He was a sports person, you know. Oh. I, I had even his jersey with wow. his name customized. Wow. You know, I, I was a big girl wow. now. With the, uh. okay. So somehow, Sha, let me cut the long story short. But that could not explain why my picture disappeared from his from screen saver. Wow. I saved him food after we had some talk. I was trying to like talk him through what happened. Did I offend you? Did anything happen? There's something odd about you. And it was like, ah, nothing. I didn't offend him. But I tell you, men and brethren. Okay, it's only man that we have here. <laughs> man and sister. And that here. was the last I heard of him till date. Oh my God. Till date. No word, no message, no nothing, no excuse, no reason, nothing. I've not said a word he ghosted to him. you. As in... Like seriously, so I don't. <laughs> as in how? Okay, this so is another no, dimension. No trace. No, no trace. trace. Okay, because no, no. I have so trace. I've not spoken with him, but interestingly, his siblings were quite close to me. I can imagine. So I mean, I, somehow school, they still. Yeah, I was like a sister to them, so they still. I have their contacts. Child, this is childhood memories. Should I should tell you one for anything? Oh yeah, it. do you know that? <laughs> His phone number still rings in my head. Like, mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow. You know, but we've not very intelligent. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we've not had a single exchange of words since that day. So how many so years now? Okay, so that was in two thousand and um five. Two thousand and six. Huh. Wow. Twenty oh six. Okay, hold the thought there. I'll come so, back to how you moved, you know, from that place because I'm trying to imagine 
But wait, 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 wait. Ooh, Sorry. Uh, no. You know, sometimes, uh, sometimes wait, I just I'm think. coming back. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me hear from you. Let me hear from you. So, were you the one breaking the heart or you were the one. SOJ, now find Bobo. You know, which way? Which way did it go? What do you think? Um, you know what I think, so don't go first and If I start to join. Oh, I yeah. Our break stories are different for men. Um, mm. Yeah, they're different for men. Okay. And I think for men, mostly it has to do with probably your first love, your actual first love. It might necessarily not be your first girlfriend. Wow. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it might be your first <sighs> love. Let's just leave it okay. like that. Okay. Let it settle in. I'm loving this. So your first love, yeah. not necessarily your first girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, yeah. To wow. me, to be sincere, I mean, just the way it is. Yeah. And. Um, that mostly, you know, it's always you're not prepared for it. You don't see it coming. coming. You just find yourself, you know. And mostly when it happens, you know, it can take years for you to really get to it. rebound. And I think that was what my story was about, you know. And it took me up to ten years to get over it. Wow. wow. You know, because but it wait, just, before it happened yesterday, how many is hard? How many people's hard? No, no, don't they just just get into? We should that. not get the into that one. We should just stay on the this most one. Your most we, we should stay on this one alone. I, I was one that suffered the hard break. <laughs> <laughs> You chose the comfort. I, can't I, was the, I was the one that suffered the heartbreak. Oh my god! And you know, no, but really, I mean, nobody was going to tell me that their most memorable is the one that they broke somebody's heart. It would be the one no, that you suffered. No, it could be. Really? It's possible. It could be. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, okay. It could be. Let's hear this story. Maybe the way it, the breaking the thing happened. happened. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, because for men, I think the reason why for me being this honest is because you know. You have to come to a point uh, as a man or as a guy that yeah. you really understand what it is to be in love with somebody. Wow. Not when you think you are, but you know you really You not, really are. You know, mm. but when you really in love with somebody and you think, now I get the story, I get the gist now, now I understand okay. it now. And I think that's why it becomes an outbreak when it didn't go the really way the way you, you thought it was going to go. Mm. Wow. And... Also, it could be a turning point for a guy. The point okay. you start really learning how to be more responsible as a man okay. and understand that a matter of the heart is serious, hmm. you know, because you suffered what, you know, probably you've done to somebody else unknowingly. Mm. Mm. That's so true. And I think that's just the case. But really, I like to ask a question. Yeah. So, when guys break ladies' hearts, it, mm -mm, wait now, don't give me that look. Okay. You, guys, you guys need to see his face in the studio right now. You know, when you do these things, are you insinuating or trying to say that it's not intentional or knowingly? Yeah, most times it's not intentional. I mean, uh -huh. you, it's not. Okay. Because, what is ladies, that? can you let me okay. give him the look? Okay. Yeah, if thank I you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Please give him the look. What do you mean? Please explain. The point is, you might think we're exclusive, okay. but you probably haven't talked about it. Wow. There's no understanding. No, no, no. Let, oh. Let's be sincere. There's no understanding that we're exclusive, or there's no understanding that this is the direction. You just, maybe the other party just think, oh, yeah, this is wow. what we should be doing. But that is there's deep. never been a conversation about it because that is deep. I think that is a challenge for men. We want to have a conversation about it and kind of like just position your mind. Okay, this is what we are doing with this person. And you know, if there are other areas where you probably need to cut off and just just focus. Yes, but if there's not been a conversation about it, and I think also that's where women get it wrong with men. There's no understanding between you and him. Yeah. Do you understand? It's not understanding between you and him. You just assume that. This so is the, I mean, on no account should anyone go into any relationship on assumption. Uh, you must have that. It, 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 it does happen. It does happen actually. Okay, so it does happen. So because, in instances, because there may be genuine attraction, yes, genuine interest, yes, but yes. it just didn't have conversation about these things. Do you understand? It just didn't have conversation about it. But okay. there is genuine attraction, genuine interest. Okay, great. Yeah. Wow. So this is inside, guys. <laughs> now I'm giving you guys this. This is inside. This is inside. Yeah. Do you understand? Did you get the gist about exclusivity? I mean, who would have thought? I'm happy that we had SOJ on the on the show today. I'm sneaky on the men. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, 
sometimes you know when we sit and miss ourselves yeah. and talk we never really get into your head and we never understand the things going on because the fact that a guy looks attractive you guys just hit it off there's attraction you feel that that's just you're on it. the same level you're the feels same level the way i feel you get meanwhile we didn't discuss exclusivity i'm like and also i think when also women want to discuss about exclusivity most time they, they also could come across a bit aggressive okay. a bit demanding which is not supposed to be the case the okay. idea around talking about what we have or what we're doing is be able to rub mine and agree or not something okay. come to a point of common interest wow. so that should be a conversation that should be a dialogue it can't be a demand hmm. in a way and i think mostly that's also sometimes where women get it wrong and when you come across like you're making demands and you know, also men could interpret it differently okay you know wow okay so um triple a let me come back to you now for k who just disappeared ghosted me. ghosted mm. you <laughs> oh, I see. you know let's use I so, <laughs> so was there any conversation i mean because you know remember that you guys pretty much grew into this you've been friends so maybe we are the ones thinking that i'm in a relationship yeah. with this guy meanwhile the guy is not was it <laughs> you know, I mean, she may you not be able to answer that exclusive this SOJ's portion. exclusivity. <laughs> Me, I'm just thinking. Hmm. SOJ. And he kept mentioning something around um, discussion, discussion. Who does the discussion? This Bobo, I knew that there was exclusivity. Did you guys talk about it? We were in a relation. Okay, okay. I didn't mention a part. Okay. okay. I actually had a ring. <laughs> okay. Uh, so he gave me a ring. Promise I, I, ring. Yeah. On. A promise but ring at, or an engagement time, ring? An engagement ring, actually. Uh-huh. What now? At that age, mm-hmm. would I still be doing promise up and down? Mm-hmm. We, wow. we talked about Radio it. Mm-hmm. So I was going to say something before you went to SOJ the other okay. time. So one of the things that I somehow, I don't want to say silently, hope I could get is to just hear him say say what this happened was exactly what happened of course i've gone past that no of course mm-hmm. after many years but somehow like soj is talking now i'm beginning to just think about some things what would have been going on in his, in his mind or something. you know of course i don't know but yeah. if it's about getting to that point where you know we're on the same page yeah of course we were okay, okay. julian i'm coming back to you but soj let me ask you this question yeah so is it possible yeah that you do give a girl the sense of exclusivity yeah. but there isn't that's a possibility hey you do it on purpose hey okay do guys do it on purpose when i say there is possibility so there is a possibility which is what i wanted okay. to get at you're getting hmm. me to snitch but i'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> the idea is that our listeners can learn there is possibility i'm a wow. young man after all but now they are looking at me <laughs> there is possibility okay and it's not in all cases okay you understand um when you already have an understanding sometimes it might take some guys to cut off other things and just focus okay and you could help him work through that journey okay you know um some other times some other guys come there's no baggages to, to cut off and all that okay and, uh, but that conversation kind of like put his mind just so you it. Know, to it and all that. Hmm. But in a case where you had that sense of okay, being on the same page and uh, you're still thinking something is, I mean, there's always going to be a sign that you know probably there's something is going there's on. Something is going on. You might not be able to figure it out, but such men are always very smart about it. Wow. You know, and it's not all men. I think it's just a personality problem or challenge. It's just wow. some individuals and smooth up so it's not like yeah. men are like that it's just mm-hmm. some people it just that 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 yeah. yeah. some some mothers do have them you know yeah. in the yeah. way they say yeah because i think me in our case it could be that you know there was actually somebody you know, already very close but he's been trying to not you know call it off or not you know but it was getting stronger than he could manage eventually he realizes that okay 
I've got more destiny on this side. On this side. He just made a choice. Him. And he didn't know how to how to handle deal it. with it. All he wow. did was to make a choice. I'm I'm sorry. And sometimes it, it looks bad because you are the, the, the receiving, receiving end. end. You know, no. He just made a choice. Wow. Because some refrav will probably keep two women, marry two women, at the same time. I'm sorry. I mean, we know things are happening. So we've got to give yeah. this K so guy some I credit. Think <laughs> I think it I think he just he just made a choice. And wow! Sometimes you can't for being so for honorable, you know, to say no, you no, know no, what? No, 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 I would not allow you to be so The guy made a choice. I withdraw so. my credit. <laughs> the guy made a choice. Wow. So. I'm sorry. The guy made a choice, and I think you and, know. And sometimes the choice, him, yeah. the choices they make favors them. Yeah. Oh no, mm. women. Yes. I mean, okay, you, maybe the other woman. No, no, so so the truth is, it saved you a lot of all yeah, the oh, okay, okay, exactly. Okay, I, you, I, I agree yeah. with you, yeah. Julian. Yeah. I agree with you. I absolutely believe there is blessing in every storm. Yeah. Yes, Definitely. so you know it hurts you, but it's like you are sick. You yeah. take injection. It hurts you, but the doctor is trying to get you well. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's, it's, whatever decision he makes, if a friend shared a story favor. recently, yeah. he was with somebody. And he came to a point and he said, if I eventually marry this person, I will cheat on them. Wow. For him to come to that point, he's just been sincere with himself. With himself. You know, he said he's going to cheat on that person if he goes ahead and marry this person. You know, and eventually he had to break it off. And it wasn't easy, but uh, even for, for the, the woman. Lady. But he came to that point and said, you know, he was going to cheat if he goes mm. ahead to marry that wow. person. And he had wow. to make this a different beautiful job. insight. You know, so mm. it's not always a bad story sometimes. Yeah. But clarity as to what choice making is about, yeah. even when it comes to a matter of the heart, mm. how difficult it might be, you have to make a choice. It's about choice. Mm. Oh. Wow. SOJ, thank you. <laughs> I mean, it felt like we got into a man's hey. mind and his head. I mean, that was amazing. Okay, Jules, let's hear your story. Well, I'm sure she's the one breaking hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I broke a few. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, the word is out. I was <laughs> there. <laughs> and I think she that was the best breakfast anyone can have. Ah, interesting. Uh, I absolutely enjoyed that breakfast. Ah. In fact, yeah, we dated for four years. We were supposed to travel out, go for our masters, mm. marry if possible, and not come back to Nigeria. But it didn't happen. Wow. You know, I didn't get visa to go, so did. I was here being yeah, he did, uh, and I was here being the, the nice girl. girl. Oh my god! You no know, visiting parents oh and doing god. all the yeah yeah yeah. Oh my god! You know, it was my it boyfriend was, is abroad. It's not my boyfriend, please. At that stage, I wasn't talking about boys exactly. anymore. Exactly. In, in, in fact, if we allowed the church, they would have married us remotely. Not remotely, they before, will force us before, before, before you, you left. Know, but it didn't happen. Wow. You, you know, this is why I say the universe works on your behalf. Mm, mm. True. Just like what I just said, sometimes these choices must be made. And when you are weeping or when you are crying or when you are sulking, you don't mm. know how yeah. far, how deep... Um, I, and I have to say this here, God is stepping in to do stuff Absolutely. for you. But when you take time to yeah. look back, connect the dots you backwards. see yeah. where uh. everything is going. So it didn't work. And somehow we got to know. At what point did you know that, you know, you moved on? If I say this now, the person <laughs> we know, <laughs> okay. you know, so it was true an uncle. Wow. He didn't come up one day to say, well, I noticed that. Initial time when we talk on phone everywhere is quiet. All of a sudden, I started hearing, and oh, I was, I'm, not, I'm in the hostel now. You know, it uh, like this is not what it's supposed to be. But you know, when you are in love, you don't you, not, you, you make excuses you. and all yeah, that. Mm-hmm. Till I was called and I heard, be careful what you're doing with this guy. This person is married. Ooh. I'm like he was married. Married. He got no, married. he got married. He got married over there, mm. and I, I was here. For yeah, mm. but marriage is marriage. <laughs> that is Either way, is marriage is wow. marriage. I have to do and what he had to do. I won't break your yeah. relationship with anyone. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So 
the day I heard that, I started thinking about a lot of things, not in pain, but I started tracing a lot of things and connecting things. And I was like, okay, uh, this is the statement I made, except you write it in the clouds and I see it broad daylight that if I don't marry this guy, I will die. Mm. I'm done. Mm. I made up my mind that day. Okay. So even when he came back and he was trying to have a conversation, I said, look, we can be friends. And I've gone. Mm. My heart is moved. is not it's made moved of brick that you can break. It's flexible. It's taking the shape that it has taken now. We still boarded the same vehicle. We went home the next day. I asked him, where are you going? Well, can I help? We went out together. And conversation almost, ah, he looked at me, oh, Trillian, I think I made a mistake. I said, no, you oh, can't make no. a mistake. You can't, mm -mm. This is the best thing that can happen to people. That's the yeah. choice. Let's let, let start going. You made your mm -hmm. choice. You made your Let's start going. Wow. Chance. So sometimes we need to look beyond the pain mm. to see the blessing in Make the storm. Choices. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a choice. You can't force someone to stay That's with correct. you. Definitely. You can't wow. stop them yeah. from That's making their choices. Yeah. So he did. And, and I waited yeah. for a um, couple of years before I met the love Very of my life. And I, I understand why it didn't really work all these years yeah. with other people. Mm. Because I'm happy I have what I ever what dreamt need? of. And I will get more. I will still be a good girl. Wow. Wow, guys. Today has been... Ah, what's the <laughs> word? Exclusive. You see, I'm not an outbreaker. You think I was. <laughs> SOJ, please don't go there. SOG. <laughs> but don't really, there. I mean, we've got to say thank you um, for sharing those insights. I'm sure that a lot of people would learn from there, you know. So, young ladies, please ensure that you're very clear. Do you understand? <laughs> Have that conversation. Don't assume. Don't assume. Oh, I mean, we just, you know... He loves Flow together. Me. I mean, we just hit it off. You know, don't just hit it off. Have the conversation. Be clear. What exactly are we, are we doing? doing here? As in, what is the definition of this thing? What is it called? What does it mean to you? What does it mean to me? I mean, so let me check quickly before we round off today because time is gone. Did you break any heart? Ah, well, I mean, I don't know about people's hearts that were broken. Me, I was a good girl, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was a good girl. I'm but sure you I broke mean, a few. Well, maybe a few that I didn't See? even know about. Uh, uh. But I mean, I then did get my own toss of a you coin. Were uh. Yeah, but there was this particular, you know, point I was even referencing. It was um, in um, first year, and we were very close. I mean, and everybody just assumed that we were in a relationship. And I kept telling them, we're just friends. Like the guy never asked me out. Even though we were in the same class, we were studying together, but he never opened his mouth. And so when he goes, oh, um, being as babe, I'm like, I'm not. He's not asked me. As in, so I don't, what are you people saying? Yeah, was he nervous? Some, I don't know. Some boys are nervous. Yeah, well, in fact, you know the truth is, I actually like this guy. I tried to help oh. him. The guy. You tried to help, help him ask you out. Seriously, as yes, in, sir. because I knew yeah, that he was yeah. shy. Yeah, seriously. I mean, I was that young. But it's a good thing, actually. And but, well, but I think so, she believes it's not. You African. know that I've been quite outspoken since I was young. So I'm like, bring exactly what's up? What's it? As in, eh? So am I your be like, As in, you know, I'm like, um, what are we doing? Um, um, yeah, I, I, you know, I'm like, gosh. As in, I'll talk to the person there. <laughs> You know what? You know what? That, that was the <laughs> key. You know <laughs> that was the key you needed. So for guy, me, guy man was interested. Exactly, it was. But you needed to make a choice. Back to what El soldier was saying. So in my head, if you can't take a stand, even when I make everything possible, no guy, it will become please a move. Problem it will become try. a problem in future because at the end of the day, you didn't say to me that. Oh, at what point did we? But guys, let's not go into that one. <laughs> So, can I say, you, yeah. you mentioned something that ladies be clear, young yeah, be very clear. So, do you know you can be told what you are doing with him or mm -hmm. her and 
he changes his mind overnight. And you to so be as you are clear. You keep asking you, no, you, for clarity. You, you, yeah, you keep verifying. Okay, so the clarity would not be just one. It's not a you one time thing. Yeah, it's like, continuous. Um, yeah. Right? SOJ. Hey guys, the thing also need you have to know the kind of person you are with. Okay. You know, if you are with somebody that you know is ways and not straight, mm. it can, so you have can to keep... give you guarantee and you know that you can't take it to the bank. Mm. The first bank will honor it. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not. But there are some oh, guarantees wow. that has been given that. And then it also changes. Even very, very, at the later part is when, so well, how do you else. deal with this when it happens? Mm. I think those are some of the issues we need to actually talk about. So, um, the, the Absorbing that shock, the shock when it does happen, and moving from Are there. Are you telling people to be prepared for outbreaks? No, but it's well, okay. It's part of life. life. But this thing really, happen. it's part of life. And but I think ca- I can I mention life. something? Um, this Jude. this guy in question, mm. we planned what will happen if eventually if, we if break up. Oh, yeah. oh we really? discuss it. We talk about it. So I no skin pain when it happened. Okay. It's not oh, because right. I was very prepared, but. but when yeah, I heard it, about I was it. like, well, life goes on. Great. Okay, guys, so, I mean, our time is fast spent. It's been interesting. I know that this is one topic that we can go on and on and on and on. And it's been amazing. So many things to learn. You know, young people, young ladies, men. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Mariah. I, I remember that, something. Um, okay, before we go. And I think yeah. you should lay emphasis on that. Oh, that. When you're trying to demand where you stand in a relationship, yeah, don't come like you're forcing it. Yeah, don't be demands. aggressive. Don't be aggressive. It should just flow. Because that's the way you can earn the mm. truth from the that truth, person. You know, without being... Um, yeah, you know, because it could just tell you what you want to hear. True. Yeah. So that exclusivity will actually be exclusive yeah. in the sense of the word. Guys, it's been an it's amazing been time today. I want to say thank you to my friends. Thank you, Triple A. Thank you, Jules. You and S O J, the gentleman in the building who has made today very, very exclusive. Yeah. Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so it's a wrap thank you so much we would love to hear from you please ensure that you write to us and engage us on our social media handles on instagram it's at first bank nigeria one word on um, youtube it's first bank ngr on facebook and linkedin is first bank nigeria limited you can also reach us on our website www.firstbanknigeria.com we look forward to hear from you and you know keep this going thank you so much for being a part of the show this has been brought to you Kotsi First Bank the bank that puts you first all the time this is Mo signing out here's your opportunity to become a first money agent no matter where you As a first money agent, visit the first bank branch closest to you. First money, close and simple. You first. First bank.